Normally, I am not the type of individual to anger. I do have anger issues. But I get up every morning at 6 o'clock without ever sleeping in just so that I can meditate so that I will not have those anger issues. And thusly, I do not normally get angry. Normally get angry. What I do not understand is why there is a constant attack on Master Park. Uh, let's just take a step back for a second, okay? Um, let's, just, let's just look at this from a point of view. Okay, and this point of view is going to be a simple one. We're, we're going to not look at what he practices, and we're going to look at what he offers. Okay, I have been practicing martial arts off and on since I was seven years old. I have worked with a lot of martial artists in my lifetime. And understand, this is the most polite way I can say this. Master Park, bar none has more to offer than any martial artist I personally have known. He has more to offer than any hundred martial artists I've known. I I have known somewhere in, in the ballpark of like, uh, uh, this is a big stretch, um, something like um, 125 martial artists. I, I've known just off and on here and there, running into, talking to, uh, practicing with, uh, discussing certain forms and formats. Um, it's just how my life has gone. And most of those martial artists have been high spiritual type people, okay? Uh, the kind of people who come from the heart, not from their ass. Um, I have no problem cussing on YouTube. I have no problem coming at you as aggressively as possible. I believe that trolls are a cancer, and I believe, if possible, that they need to be dealt with in the same way that cancer needs to be dealt with, but on the YouTube level and not on the physical level. That's what I come from. The Back to Master Park. The ability to create your own tools the understanding of tools that are not common in the, in the martial arts world, food and medicine and all the stuff that he does, I don't understand. He comes professionally. He comes respectively. He comes and he gives you nuggets of knowledge that no one else would offer you. And I don't understand why attacking him seems to be so important and so prevalent. I don't understand. I just don't. Is it because he doesn't fit your format? Well, let me tell you something about your format. You remember what I said about Bujin Khan? All I knew about Bujin Khan was rolling. Let me tell you why. I can't remember the technique or, or the name of the technique to be more specific. But um, I went off to study Bujin Khan with a group of individuals, and uh, they were teaching a technique where you hold somebody with these fingers here by their shirt collar or by the lapel of their, um, their gi, and you sit down and you throw them. All right, so, uh, and, and you don't require strength and stuff like that. These are battlefield testing techniques. Uh, I had not learned the etiquette yet. I was still new, learning the process. I was not quick on the upkeep. I never am. I'm slow to I'm slow to learn etiquette. I'm fast to learn technique. That's the way I am. It's the way I've always been. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, and I have a problem with authority. I always have. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I didn't do so well whenever I was in the army. I did my best. And I failed. Uh, I failed on all fronts. <laughs> but anyways. Um, so there I am. I'm trying to do this thing. And the assistant instructor walks up to me. Not with 
respect for my naivete, not for is that not with respect for the lack of my understanding, but as though I were an enemy gang member intruding on his territory. Um, no, no, even that has a greater deal of respect than the way he walked up to me. Like a douche, okay? Um, like a D-bag. That's, that's more properly stated. He walked up to me. I completely spaced etiquette, okay? I reached for him, and he locked up, and I could not throw him. And then he took his turn and he threw me and he told me to go off and deal with somebody else. And so I'm dealing with this other person. I decide, okay, we have some evidence. Let's test it. So the person went to throw me and I locked up. And this person knew the technique way better than I knew it. Way better than I understood it. Way better than, than I could even understand and could not throw me and so of course the assistant instructor once again walks up to me like a fucking d-bag snatches me up and goes to throw me i lock up he's the instance assistant instructor he knows this better than anybody in the group save for the instructor and i can't be thrown and then the instructor chastises me for not throwing myself so this is how this works. If it's battlefield tested, it's something that generalistically speaking works. If you say it's battlefield tested, you reach for me and nothing happens, either A, there is a problem with the person performing the technique, or B, there is a problem with the technique. Okay? Now, mind you, I don't know these people, I don't know what their skill level and is, and I don't know if they mess up, okay, and as if they're just messing up, but nevertheless, um, the rifle was loaded, the round didn't go off, check the ammunition, it's not the ammunition, it's the rifle, okay, same thing with martial arts, <clears throat> excuse me. If you're going to go do a technique and another person has to throw themselves for that technique to work, that technique is broken. That technique does not work. That technique is a failure. Okay, that's what I know of Bujin Khan. I was being polite before. What I know of Gimpu Khan is limited, mind you. I never made it past white belt. The instructor that I had was Sensei Hansen. He was a wonderful, wise person. And honestly, if I had the time, I would try to learn both Chosun Ryu and Gimpu Khan just because of the instructor. And an instructor says a lot about a martial art. Okay, even if a martial art is broken, even if a martial art does not function, there is lot to be said about the instructor and honestly I would not reference Gimpu Khan as a functioning martial art either but that's just my opinion and where just my opinion is concerned all of the things that I have seen of Chosun Ryu of um oh I don't know how to say it in Korean oh I need to get on that yeah um what I know of Master Park from just seeing what he has to offer. It's vastly more than what's available out there in the world. And from what I have studied and from what I have looked for and from what I have researched personally on my own, almost everything is correct according to the Japanese format. Korean format obviously is going to be different. Okay, and I, I have every belief that ninjutsu, or what we understand is the ninja, came from India, not from China or Korea or Japan. I am trying to back up my master here. 
You know, I, I don't know what the big deal is. I don't know why you feel attacking him is a good thing other than you have some issues, okay? Um, personal issues that you should probably seek out help with. You should probably go see a psychiatrist and deal with your issues, okay? Anyways, uh, Master Park... I'm sorry if I have offended you with my previous statements. Um, the simple fact of the matter is, is, uh, is I firmly believe that Master Park is the man and that you should have greater respect for him and I'm getting a little sick and tired of your behaviors toward him. Okay, so you all have a nice day.